Hello and welcome to the special edition of the Homeland Security Report. I'm Tony Christopher. The IDF's future weapon systems. What does the IDF's technological future have in store? The ground force's future arm systems and munitions, including the Armored Corps and the Artillery Corps, will include a combination of autonomous robotic systems in the battlefield. In his farewell speeches, outgoing IDF Chief of Staff Benny Guntz used the term integrative several times. His successor, Lieutenant General Gadi Eisenkut, used the term connectivity. Both of them sought to describe the ideal integration between core, between commanders, and between the various weapons and systems in order to streamline military actions as much as possible. During his tenure, Lieutenant General Guntz indeed instructed IDF officers examine the future trends for the IDF in the coming decade by 2025. The IDF website features some current and future innovations and developments underway in the framework of ground forces and robotics. The IDF assumes the terror threat will increase and evolve over the coming decade. Consequently, the IDF will require accurate and autonomous missile and artillery fire from airborne and naval systems, as well as from tanks and infantry forces. Robots are also expected to do their bit, contributing to the general joint effort alongside autonomous and unmanned air, ground and naval systems. Here's a future scenario. A military unit is entering a village teeming with enemy forces. Urban warfare is on the verge of erupting. The commander will have a smartphone in hand, complete with several options. Launching a rocket or a missile, or using accurate artillery fire. Should the commander opt for rocket fire, all he or she will have to do is push the button and order the launch. It will all be done in real time. No radio communication will be required either. Artillery Corps Chief Brigadier General Roy Riftin this kind of smartphone will be available in 2025. Commanders will have a comprehensive image of the battlefield and will be able to apply suppressive fire, also known as covering fire. The smartphone application will know what the best source would be, airborne rocket or gunfire. Armored vehicles. The Merkava 4 will continue to roll off the assembly line along with an APC version. By 2025, a new armored vehicle will also be deployed for operation service. It is designed to be cheaper, smaller and deadlier than the Merkava 4. A future APC is also in the works. It will feature better protection and mobility at a lower cost. Also, there are various observation devices under development. A radar system designed to trace fire source. This mobile radar will move along with brigade forces throughout the field, providing response to high-altitude fire and monitoring sources of enemy fire. The IDF's and the defense establishment's best and the brightest are currently busy developing the next generation of UGVs, or unmanned ground vehicles. IDF senior staff notes the ultimate goal is to deploy future autonomous vehicles capable of overcoming battlefield barriers chart a course independently and perhaps even fire on their own. This raises myriad issues, from safety and security to legal questions. The IDF is already using a robot capable of firing from afar on its own. Nevertheless, the system is man-controlled and operates strictly per an operator. And that's it for this week. Thank you for watching this special edition of The Report. See you at the same time, same place next week. And for further information, click the link below.